And this week, President Obama said too many young men of color are being left behind and seen as objects of fear. The president is pushing for more programs to change that perception and reality. KUSI's Kristen Casado has more on one local group's efforts. It's kind of a surreal feeling. Like, you know, 18 year old Jordan Jackson joined Boys to Men at the age of 13, the age of discovery, questionable decisions, and transitions. Raised by a single mother, Jordan relied on these mentors to guide him and keep him in school. And a lot of them are, you know, father figures type stuff that we didn't have in our lives and we, she couldn't share anything with them. So I think we got that trust, really. That's the number one thing. Craig McLean started Boys to Men right here in San Diego 18 years ago. It offers young men a community where they can share their stories, their struggles, and know they're not alone. They teach them to be respectable men. They meet in schools with kids who are getting into trouble. Many are black and Latino. I probably being junior all. They join gangs, they do drugs, they drop out of school, um, they steal, they, they get bad grades because they don't have anybody to, that cares about them. They don't have anybody to show them how to do it the right way. It's organizations like this one that President Obama wants to focus on in light of the racial police community turmoil happening in Ferguson, Missouri, after the shooting death of teenager Michael Brown. Organizations that highlight the importance of guidance and education. About two thirds of black men who enroll in college will drop out without ever earning a degree. Dr. Frank Harris at SDSU does research on improving access and completion of college for men of color. He says young men need to strive for a career instead of just employment. Right. Helping people from, from different communities, particularly uh, under-resourced or impoverished communities, see college as a viable option, as a way out, as a way to, to a better life. As for Jordan Jackson, he's about to start his freshman year at San Diego State on a full academic scholarship. They helped me build my positive you know, attitude up, so more optimistic and then now I'm just looking forward to you know, my college experience. Kristen Casado, KUSI News.